Hi everybody, my name is Max Maker and this week I finally bought some welding equipment for the workshop and I made this little aluminium frame for it to hold everything and I'm going to put some um, cabinets in here for all the welding hoses and the pipes and the gun and so on and I'm using this red stuff, this comes from an old elevator it was attached with this uh, flexible foam uh, double-sided tape and this is easy to work with, easy to cut and it's already pre-finished which is nice and I like the color anyway. Uh, yeah, I picked this color for the elevator to be honest and yeah, this is going to go in there like this and I want everything to be perfectly accessible, you know. Um, whenever I'm getting tools, I want to build a little cabinet for them or a place where they live so it's easier to keep the workshop tidy. Otherwise, I never know where to put stuff and my workbench is just cluttered. So to get rid of this tape, uh, the only solution I found was this scraper from the kitchen and this works really well. Uh, I was quite surprised how easy this went down. You just have to find the right angle uh, and then it works out. And to attach these on these uh, extrusions, you know, you can use all kinds of T-nuts and little connectors and all of that, but I'm just using construction adhesive. This stuff is the extreme variant and it's awesome. You know, it's like silicone, but it sticks really well to almost all surfaces. And I didn't have enough access here to spread it out, so I used a little piece of scrap to spread it out by hand. And this little will be enough to hold this in place. It's just for not uh, letting it slide around, basically. And the top is also glued on, and then I put on the sides. So uh, with this welding stuff, I want to uh, be a lot more versatile in the workshop, you know, not always having to use wood, but just welding stuff together. I hope this will save me some time in the long, time, in the long run. And it's also an investment for my business, of course, so I can make some repairs. And up here I want to add a draw and for that I'm going to use some sheet metal while the glue is drying. And the factory edge was 90 degrees so uh, be on the lookout for that, luckily I found it. And I'm cutting this with my jigsaw. And after I start the first cut I realized, oh no, I need some protection because my girlfriend told me uh, use protection when you're cutting with aerosols. Um, yeah, the oil is burning up and it can get in your lungs and she says oil aerosols are really not good for your health. She's a chemist so I believe her and I do anything she says anyway. Oh, we're getting married by the way. The face shield is there because the jigsaw really loves to throw up these uh, metal shards and uh, into your face. So uh, I only use that when I'm cutting sheet metal with the jigsaw. And this is my um, sheet metal press. It's a really awesome tool. You can bend anything to any angle you want. There are some limitations to the geometry that you can bend. And I made a mistake here. I already bent up these little flaps, but that meant the flaps were in the way of the rest of the sheet metal if I want to uh, flip that up. You'll see that in a minute. So I made this flat again and now I need to bend them again, but a little bit further inside than these big sections. And for that I just uh, pushed it in a little bit further and then made the bend. And now they are like one millimeter inside, so they're offset. So now they can fit perfectly inside of here and to bend this stuff um, there's also one more limitation that's the height of the sheet metal press so I can only bend it up to uh, about 60 millimeters so I can't bend this all the way but close enough it established the bend already so the rest I can just uh, push together with these clamps and they are so good you can just pump these up and you can pull stuff together you know squeeze it down and you can also lift up stuff you can switch them around and then they spread things apart it's really handy sometimes to put up furniture and stuff like that I love these and I have a ton of them and this is my spot welder I bought it last year and it's awesome uh, you can set it to up to two millimeters and there you go it's welded it's fused together it's a super solid connection and it's very quick you don't need any welding equipment no safety gear or anything like that uh, yeah, I love that. And for the sharp edges, I'm using this edge bending. And you just put it on like there. So uh, I made another mistake. The drawer is too wide. So I had to take these slides and put them underneath and not on the sides of the cabinet. And again, I'm using lots of construction adhesive because that's just much easier than using any kind of screws, especially in this orientation. And now I'm using this little crack jig to make the holes for the handle for this drawer slide. And this is a beautiful handle that I got from Amazon. And first I'm putting on primer and then I'm painting everything black with these spray cans and of course I'm wearing the respirator. And by the way, this is my new welding helmet. It's awesome. It pumps fresh air into your face and you can flip up the hood and then you still have a little shield in your face, uh, in front of your face and you're get, still getting fresh air so you can grind stuff without being exposed to the welding air that you just created a minute earlier. So there you go. The drawer is in. Perfect. And all the hoses and the screw guns fit in here. 
and underneath I've got a crate for all the bulky stuff like the magnets and now I'm making a little holder for the argon bottle that you need to uh, weld tick and I printed these little holders for the bottle they match the radius of the bottle and I thought they would work uh, very nicely and this is made from PETG so you can't really break the stuff it's uh, more of a rubbery structure but um, yeah if you print these thick enough you can't bend them even by hand and this worked out but I wasn't happy with this it was a bit dodgy getting the bottle up there and if I drop it you know I could snap off the top and that wouldn't be good so I made these little frames so that way everything is secured while I slide them in and then I can use some straps to strap everything down I didn't have enough straps at the moment but I'm getting some more in the future so yeah the goal is that this is out of the way because it's heavy it's bulky and if it's standing up right it would just fall over and I want this to be on the cart because this cart will be moved up in the uh, car elevator and then up to fresh air because I don't want to weld in my basement uh, the air would never escape out of here so I'm using this upstairs and here I've uh, added a fire extinguisher of course because that's what you do if you start welding thanks for watching guys my name is Max Maker and I hope I inspired you to make something yourself today uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and comment how you would do this differently and how stupid it is to use construction teeth in a set of screws yeah thanks for watching guys and a special thanks to my patreons if you become a patreon next time your name will be here as well and thanks again I appreciate all of your support